يعني أ... من الحاجات التا... ان شاء الله المره دي يا دكتور محمد خد بالك كده اوبزرف ذا ريسبونس اوف ذا كولج هتفهم هو تايم ايه Yes, I, I, I will convert it to English. This is a very good advice from Professor Shirin Al-Hariri. If you are going to the exam, uh, they know that this is in Maadi Hospital, and they know if it is seven or eight days, some of the days will be repeated. So some of the candidates will go stand in the uh, down hall of the hospital and ask a candidate what station did it came, which skills. Was it suture? Was it catheter? Was it so on? There are some people of the Royal College will will locate your face and will report it to the the one in charge and it you might fail due to this reason. So please the advice of Professor Shirin Hariri and me only go on the day of your your exam. No need to go any day before because it is dangerous and don't have any electronic watches. Electronic uh, ear plugs, electronic uh, glasses. This is very important advice to Egyptian colleagues. That's true. Uh, you, right. you can so start. No problem. He can he can know the venue, but not uh, contact with the student. All right. Yes. So we can start, to Dr. Corollos. Yes. Uh, okay. So you are. I am the patient. I am 65 years old man, chronic smoker, complaint of vomiting. Do you like to blood. share your screen, Professor Shri? Uh, okay. So okay. uh, I have bleeding in my rectum since yes, bleeding the uh, vomiting of blood, so hematemesis, and uh, I think uh, you see it now. Yes, yes, I see yes, it now. Yes, see it now. and uh, the patient admitted to surgical ward, so take a history for me. So you can start. So it is a history taken about vomiting of blood. Okay, good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Kronos, one of examine, uh, examine, uh, okay. examine uh, today. Good morning, yes. Uh, can I confirm your name and age, please? Uh, yes, I am Mr. Lim. I'm 65 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. Lim. Uh, can I, uh, can I, uh, I know uh, what's the problem today? What's the yeah, problem? I have uh, vomiting of blood uh, yesterday. It occurred once. I'm so sorry for this. Uh, okay, Mr. Lim, when did it start? It is just in the evening when I watch the TV, I have vomiting of blood. Uh, I'm so sorry for this. Can can I call you, uh, Lim? Can, can. Okay. Okay. Uh, how did it start? What is the course? Did it start uh, suddenly or gradually? Not just suddenly. Okay. I'm so sorry for this. Uh, 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 Lim, how, how would this, uh, this is increase or decrease? No, it is okay once. Occurred once, okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, what is what is uh, some uh, how how uh, how many how much is the millimeter for the blood? Is it? Uh, no, uh, it is half a cup. Half a cup. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, can I can I can I know uh, any pain uh, with with this? No pain. No pain. Okay. Which is the decision? <laughs> Do you have any? What you think? Uh, we, we can hear your uh, voice, Doctor Mohammed Shell. Uh, and th no, no, this I is think someone who say is uh, someone uh, there is no station like this. Is the curriculum or what? <laughs> it is in the curriculum. Right, I guarantee okay. because so, I did examine this uh, station. Any comment? Anyone need to, to ask something? No, no. All I right, think it on. was Doctor okay, Mohammed Shell. Can I know the of this blood? It's and uh, he no, it is fresh that. blood. It is fresh blood. Fresh blood. Okay. Um, uh, okay, Limb, uh, how, how, uh, any, uh, do you have any disease, uh, like diabetes mellitus or hypertension? No. Okay, do you have any, uh, do you take any medication? Uh, like what, or for what? Or for any, uh, for any uh, thing like blood uh, clotting, anticoagulant, or anything like this? No. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have any? Uh, do you have any uh, this uh, similar condition in, in family? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, do you have any surgical intervention or hospitalization before? No. Okay. Uh, Limb, do you have any loss of appetite? Uh, no loss of appetite. No loss of weight. Okay. Uh, do you have any? Uh, uh, do you have any? Uh, do you take any medication for like uh, 
uh, any chronic disease. Or... Okay, uh, Dr. Corollas, uh, you are okay, but uh, you, you are away from the main uh, cause. Usually, if you have vomiting of blood, so what organ we are looking for? Uh, the organ it will be uh, esophagus. Esophagus. So what is the function of esophagus? Uh, swallowing. Okay, so you need to ask about difficult to swallow or dysphagia. You need to ask uh, if mm -hmm. it is difficult, it's difficult to solid or fluid. And of course, you ask about loss of weight. And after that, you, uh, in some cases, if this case is a cancer, you need to ask about reflux disease. So I just, uh, I have two scenarios in the same. So I just review this with you. So we start a normal history taking. You need to ask about the amount of blood. You need to ask if it is mixed with food or not. You need to ask about dysphagia. And if I say yes, you need to ask about it is for solid or fluid. You need to, to, to know the level of food stuck. It is in the upper or middle or lower. Usually nowadays it is lower due to adenocarcinoma, due to barrett esophagus. You, you already ask about loss of weight, loss of appetite. One of differential diagnosis, because this is, can be cancer, can be varices. So you need to ask about cause of hepatitis, like previous blood transfusion, intravenous drug abuse, if the partner have hepatitis or sexual transmitted disease as hepatitis. Okay? So this is, and after that, you ask about other system. Of it's course, it is important to ask about uh, blood thinner or something like that. Okay? So we are back again. I just changed the scenario. The first scenario is supposed to be due to esophageal viruses, and this is just the blood and not associating with dysphagia. Yes. Now we have the same scenario, but another result, another diagnosis, which is cancer of the lower esophagus. Can you start to ask me again about the same okay. scenario, but with difficult modification? Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Krolos, one of the yes. exam yes. ended to today. Yes. Can I confirm your name and age, please? Yeah, I am Mr. Lempa. I'm 65 years old. I have vomiting of blood yesterday. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Lim. Can I call you Lim? Yeah, can. How can I help you, Mr. Uh, Lim, today? Uh, no, just to take a history. Okay. What's the same problem today? It is, uh, I have a vomiting of blood. It is about half cup of blood yesterday. I'm so sorry for this, Mr. Lim. And uh, okay. what is the color of the blood? It is uh, fresh blood and mixed with food. Okay. And uh, this is, uh, how did it start? It starts it suddenly? Just, just started, started sudden yesterday. It starts sudden. Any pain? No pain. Okay, is it increase or decrease? Uh, no, it is just once, so it is not increase or decrease. Once. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear this. No okay, pain. Uh, uh, any pain with, with this moment or no? No pain. Okay, uh, you have any loss of appetite? Uh, before loss of appetite, you need to ask about dysphagia. Okay, do you have any uh, uh, difficulty in swallowing? Yeah, I have difficulty to swallow. Uh, for solid or for liquid? Uh, no, it is for solid. It started for solid, now for both solid and liquid. Okay, I'm so sorry for this. Uh, do you have any... Uh, do you have no, any what, is the level, what is the level the food is stuck? It is the lower bar to esophagus. Okay. Okay, and what is the cause of that? You need to ask about, you have reflux. Yes, I have reflux for the last five years, but I don't take medication. And the doctor asked me to avoid alcohol and spicy food. I am still taking alcohol and spicy food. Okay? Okay. So, what's your diagnosis? Uh, my diagnosis is it will be a, a tumor of esophagus adenocarcinoma. Uh, what is the new adenocarcinoma? What is the cause of this patient? Uh, due to uh, metablesia of uh, because of metablesia. What is of, metablesia? Of what is metablesia? Um, metablesia is uh, chronic irritation due to change of uh, epithelium to surface uh, squamous to uh, uh, columnar epithelium. Uh, surface squamous non keratinized to columnar with goblet cells. Okay. Goblet cell. All right. Okay. So this is cancer esophagus. If the patient have achalasia, so they usually have dysphagia to solid. How to diagnose achalasia? Uh, by endoscopy? No, difficult to be by endoscopy. You can't diagnose cancer by endoscopy. Achalasia not by endoscope. Uh, by uh, uh, X-ray with, uh, uh, with 
with barium uh, in, the, in the past they use barium swallow but nowadays they use what manometry uh, for social manometry study so nowadays we use a social manometry study in the past you can use barium swallow it gives a barotic appearance okay okay all right okay so uh, i just have another case is a thyroid case okay anyone need to, to ask so uh, it is okay dr Corollos, but you you say sorry for time so she is too much but this is no problem <laughs> okay. okay all right the next scenario is about a thyroid swelling is a 22 years girl presented in outpatient clinic complained of right neck swelling so take a focus history anyone uh, okay doctor okay can you can start so i have uh, swelling in the, my neck i am a female so it is female patient 22 years old okay okay hello i'm dr shell one of the surgical yeah. doctors I will be here yes. with you today. Uh, yes, can yes. I confirm your name and age, please? Yeah, I am uh, Sarah. I'm 22 years old. Okay, nice to meet you, Miss Sarah. Uh, how can I help you today? And did uh, you I was, I was, uh, my uh, marriage is after two months, so uh, I try to wear a dress. So when I try the dress, my friend noticed that I have swelling in right side of the neck. Okay, I can see this. Uh, and could you tell me more about uh, this uh, swelling? When okay. did it start? Uh, it is just uh, discovered accidentally one week ago. Okay, and uh, and it is increasing in size or decreasing? No, it is the same. Like, it is no, the it same. is the same size. Oh, okay, anything make it uh, bigger or say or? Uh, no, it is move up and down with swallowing. Okay, okay, that's good to know. And uh, yeah. in, uh, uh, and uh, if uh, this uh, <coughs> is moving up and down with uh, protruding your tongue out or not? No, not moving with your tongue. Okay. And uh, do you have uh, any change in your power of your vision? Uh, no. Okay. Any change in your mood? Uh, okay. No. But uh, doctor, uh, usually. Okay, so no change in my mood. Okay, what else? Okay, do you notice uh, there is uh, any uh, uh, alternating in your bowel habits as uh, diarrhea or constipation or something? No. Okay, uh, any regularity in your menstruation? Uh, no. Uh, okay, uh, did you notice uh, if there is, uh, do you have dry tongue or dry, uh, dry mouth? Dry uh, why you ask about dry tongue and dry mouth? Because it, uh, I, I uh, to uh, exclude if uh, the mass uh, in uh, in the neck, it is uh, neck swelling, or no, uh, this is a, a, uh, or what? Or in the tonsils? No, it's a, from the first. Because the tonsil is another scenario. is tonsillar okay. abscess. Okay. Uh, what, what you have here uh, from the beginning, you need to decide if it is thyroid or other swelling. So this is a thyroid. Because I tell you, it is moving up and down with swallowing. Okay. okay. And do, uh, if there is, if, did you notice any change, any increase in your body temperature recently? Uh, you mean that tolerance to heat, to, to hot, uh, to hot weather? No. Uh, uh, okay. And uh, uh, did you notice unintentional weight loss recently? No. And any change in your appetite? No. <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, if there is anything, uh, if did you uh, have any long-standing uh, disease as diabetes or hypertension? No. Uh, did you take? Uh, do you take any medication regularly? Like what? Uh, any medication? Uh, you take vitamins or anything? You take? No. No. Uh, okay. Do you have any allergy against any medication? Uh, I am allergic to seafood. So you ask about allergy to medication and food. Okay. okay. Okay, uh, did you go through any surgical procedure recently? No, no. Um, if there is, uh, it is your first time to notice something like this, right? Y yes. Uh, if anything, uh, if there is any one of your family have this uh, similar uh, condition? Uh, yes, uh, some of my family have a thyroid tumors, and my grandmother uh, have a cancer thyroid. Okay, I'm very sorry to hear this. Okay, uh, I you, I need to ask you some more questions regarding this. Okay, if, okay, can. Did you notice uh, any difficulty in breathing or change in your voice? No. 
uh, okay and uh, regarding uh, <clears throat> i will i need to ask you some personal question is that okay, okay for me okay. uh, with, with whom do you live no i live with uh, my family i am okay. uh, single i live with my family okay uh, what do you do for a living i am student study economic okay and uh, do you smoke a cigarette yeah i smoke five cigarettes per day for the last 10 years okay and uh, do, you, do you drink alcohol Yes, I drink alcohol in weekend. Uh, okay. And uh, before we finish, I need to ask you some more questions uh, to uh, assist okay. general health, okay? Okay. Right. Do, okay. do you have any irregularity or tremors? Do you have any tremors? No. No. Uh, any irregularity in your heartbeat? No. Difficulty to going upstairs? Uh, no. Uh, any diarrhea or constipation? No. Any problem with passing urine? No. Uh, did you notice any weakness or uh, uh, in the muscles or bone pain? No. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. So first, uh, doctor, I just first to comment when we start the scenario and it is as common with the students say or the patient say she is dry dress for wedding or for engagement. So it is important to say to tell her congratulations or something like that. Okay. okay. Uh, of course, uh, it is important in any swelling to ask about size, size, shape, and uh, consistency. So you need to ask where is the, the swelling. It is in the lower part of the neck, not upper part of the neck. And it is two by one centimeter. And it is uh, cystic in consistency and not attached to the skin. So the character of the swelling must be asked. Okay, okay, is, but, uh, okay but, but, but I think uh, this uh, can't be uh, taken from history. I need to do examination too. No, it is done in the history because usually this is station is history taken, not examination. In history, I, you need to ask about size, size, shape, everything. And to confirm it, if you go to traditional uh, clinical book or physical examination book, the right size, size, shape, and after that, in the examination, I confirm what I take it from the history. If you have Matari or some book, text book in Egypt to use, you can find like this. I think so. Okay. Uh, it is important to ask about pressure symptom, then ask about toxic manifestation, and you can ask uh, some uh, about uh, hypo, hypothyroid. All right, uh, you ask uh, with whom you are living. What is important to ask is this in this scenario? Uh, with whom living? Yes, what is important to ask is this? I don't know. In I this case, it is in this case is not important, but suppose it is an orthopedic patient or patient bed ridden or patient with a stroke, you need to ask is this, but in this scenario, she is young, she is 22, so it's not a problem. All right. <laughs> Uh, family history, they have a family history of the thyroid cancer. So which uh, thyroid cancer can run in family? Uh, which is a real cancer? It is medullary type. Medullary type, okay. The medullary type and it can be part of which syndrome? Uh, Men type 2. Uh, multiple endocrine neoplasma type 2, okay. What is, the, what is else in multiple endocrine neoplasma type 2? Uh, it is fake chromocytoma and... Uh, what is the tumor marker of fake chromocytoma? Tumor marker? Uh, yes. I don't uh, know. It's uh, met, met, uh, metanephrine in the blood. Yes, and metanephrine in the blood. And, yes, yes. Uh, for, for it is usually an exam we ask you faster, but it's okay. I'll just show you uh, histopathology. Uh, you see this picture? Yes. Yeah, well, this is a thyroid, uh, after hemicyroidectomy, you have this pathology. It's not medullary, but what cancer? It is in the same patient we speak about. What type of cancer, thyroid cancer, what type of thyroid cancer is this? I say it's follicular. I think it's babylagal or follicular. No, it is babylary. You see, this is what we call the orphan Annie and Samoma body. It is babylary thyroid carcinoma. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is okay, uh, thyroid case is okay. Uh, I just back again to other scenario. I not uh, faster, but this is attitude of the most of the examiner. Okay, uh, we have history taken for shortening of breaths. So you can continue us, also it's no problem. It is a very yeah. quick history. This is about, uh, I just share the screen again, because each time I need to share the screen. 
ओके राइट ओके सो द पेशेंट फिफ्टी इयर्स ओल्ड वूमेन इज हेल्थ डायग्नोज एस क्रोनिक ओके Uh, no, I just came because I will uh, have laparoscopic colostectomy, so I came just in pre-operative admission clinic or pre-operative assessment clinic. Okay, I see that from uh, your file that you are have uh, a history of intermittent uh, shortness of breath. That's right. Yes, yes, it is long time. Yes. Okay, uh, so so I need to to check before I start, uh, Doctor Shreen. I'm sorry. Uh, it is is a shortness of breath station or pre-operative assessment station. Uh, what, you what, what, what you think? What 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 you think? What you think is the examiner? What you think is the examiner of this station specialty? I I think he will be a surgeon. Okay, is what a surgeon. And uh, what is this station? Uh, you say uh, it, uh, what is your question? What is the first question? What is your question? Well, my, my question is: If it's a shortness of breath, I need she she the patient uh, she will tell me she have a chest pain or some kind of this. If there is not no no, uh, uh, you ask about question. What is your question? It is uh, it is it a shortness of breath station. Uh, is the patient uh, come for an anxiety? Or it is pre-operative assessment uh, for general uh, uh, any any general uh, sorry any any general patient coming going to the surgery any gen- any surgery patient. Surgery okay. Patient, sorry. So uh, this is uh, just pre-assessment patient. This is a station is usually run under surgical physiology. Okay, but uh, usually you consider is as history taken is not history taken. It is under surgical physiology. Okay, uh, surgical physiology in exam is not run by physiologist. It's run by ICU or some surgeon. Okay, so it is considered as pre-operative assessment. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Right, but I I think it's not make a difference. But we can see. You can we can see. All right. Okay. Okay, you can start. Okay, uh, okay, uh, th- uh, okay. For this surgery, you are going to have. I need to assess your medical background. Is that okay for you? Can. Okay, Mrs. N, do you have uh, any uh, heart problems? Uh, like what? Uh, like any heart disease, like the hypertension or uh, any. Uh, so you need to assess first the respiratory system or cardiovascular system. For the shortness of breath, I need uh, to assess uh, the respiratory system, but also uh, I... you can start. Uh, you can start the respiratory then the cardiac. Okay, no problem. You ask okay. me is any cardiac problem? No, have cardiac problem. No cardiac problem. Okay. Did you go through any surgery, uh, any procedure for uh, or any investigation to assess your heart function? As uh, uh, yes, I have echo done. Okay, and uh, what is the result of this echo? Uh, yeah. What you need to look at in the echo. I need for echo. I need to look for uh, for diameters and also for ejection fraction. So, what is the normal ejection fraction? Uh, it is more than uh, I think forty uh, nine. Forty. Uh, it is from fifty fifty uh, to sixty five. Yes, more than forty nine. Okay. All right. Okay. What is ejection fracture mean? Uh, ejection fraction. I uh, okay. Sorry. So it is in the systolic system uh, over stroke volume. Okay. okay, we can see in the next uh, next scenario. What else you need to ask? Uh, I need to ask uh, if she has uh, any uh, as uh, she had asthma before or she had diagnosed. You mean bronchial asthma? Yeah, uh, yes. No. no. Uh, any recent cough? Uh, uh, sometimes I have dry cough. Okay. Did you take any medicine for this? Uh, no, because I go to my doctor, and the doctor say because I take a medication for hypertension, and this medication is AC inhibitor, and one of the side effect of AC inhibitor is dry cough. 
Okay. Uh, okay, do you have uh, any, uh, any previous stroke or, uh, or seizure? Cerebral stroke, uh, no. Do, do you have any seizure type or something? Any seizure? No, no. Any, any problem with uh, remembering family member or uh, remembering things? Uh, no, my father died from heart attack. Okay, I'm very sorry for your loss. May he rest in peace. Okay. All okay, right. to, to go on, uh, I need to ask you if uh, you have uh, any um, uh, uh, any investigation regarding your blood, as there is any anemia or... or, or uh, uh, no anemia. Uh, anything with the coagulation? With the coagulation, yes? Like clothing? What? Any clothing uh, abnormality? Uh, what is you? Okay, no. Okay, and uh, you have diabetes? No. I have hypertension only. Okay, and what, what you, you you just tell me you have you take a, is inhibitor or medicine for this? That's right. Yes, I okay. take Covertil or Brendobil. Yes. Uh, okay, and uh, okay, and the dose? A five milligram. Okay, and uh, do you have any thyroid problems? No. Okay, uh, how often you check uh, your capillary blood glucose? Uh, usually every month I go to the GB clinic okay. and uh, check it and uh, it is uh, okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, do you take any medication besides uh, the medicine for your hypertension? Take uh, any? No. You use any inhalers? No. Uh, did you you take uh, anticoagulant or platelet uh, medication? Uh, no, ask this. no, no. Okay. Uh, do you do do you take uh, any uh, medication over the counter? All right, no. Uh, so what you need to do for this patient, doctor? You have echo done. What else you need to do? I need to do a chest X-ray. I need to do ECG. And okay, also so, uh, okay. We just start the investigation. It is important to know in the pre-assessment, it is important to take a history of the relative. Like you need to take a history of dyspnea or sopnea, proximal nocturnal dyspnea. Of course, you ask about heart Sheet. You ask many questions in different topic, but it is uh, the condition is so simple. Just to describe the attack, just to concentrate on the chest and the heart, just to ask here how many levels, suppose she is left in the third, so they have uh, dyspnea on the climbing the stairs, or they have nocturnal dyspnea, or she have bronchial asthma, you ask about bronchial asthma, but you ask in all organs, I don't know yes, why. Yes. Uh, because because uh, I miss I miss uh, I misunderstand the the, the the station. There is there is two scenarios for a station. There is one station for pre-operative assessment for the patient, and this okay. is this, uh, I need to ask for all all systems and also. All right. I, I tell you I tell you, doctor, because uh, most of these scenarios is designed by my group. Uh, what I found usually this is scenario is not history taken. Is not uh, pre-operative. It is just a pre-operative assessment given to the physiology the doctors. Okay. Uh, you have two options. I just tell me what is the two option. The two option is two scenario. What is the two scenario in your mind? My, uh, my other scenario it is uh, maybe an anxiety due to uh, the operation and she have attack of shortness of breath. In this, I I need to ask about the cardiac causes and the chest causes. This is the main concern here. Uh, this what what will I need to ask if I will first exclude any problem in? Uh, okay, so I just uh, to explain. By the way, uh, I just for the other the two station we have in the Royal College for pre-operative assessment of the chest, pre-operative assessment of the of the heart is pre-operative assessment station, not an anxiety. Not not uh, surgery, not history taken. It is just how to evaluate the patient. So it is the same. I can find the cardiothoracic. If I found the cardiothoracic, I I speak to you about this. So it is the same. You take a history. You uh, you ask about chest pain. You ask about dyspnea. You ask about orthopnea. You ask about nocturnal dyspnea. And after that, uh, you examine the patient in few minutes just looking for the chest and the heart and after that what you need to do i will do for cardiac patient ejection fracture and you must know what is ejection fracture and if the patient is uh, respiratory 
what what you need to do in this patient, what you need to do. I need to do a chest X-ray and, uh, and also, uh, arterial blood gas, chest X-ray. Yes, Don't ABG. forget respiratory function test. And usually yes. the examiner ask you to draw the respiratory function test. Okay. Okay. So it is not two scenario. It is not history taken. It is not uh, proper physiology. It is considered as surgical physiology or applied physiology. I don't know why you bring these beliefs because this is common. We found an exam. This is how to prepare a patient for cardiac, started from history, quick examination, respiratory function test, chest X-ray, ECG, echo, looking for ejection fraction. Okay? So easy, under physiology station or surgical physiology, not a history taking, not anything else. All okay. right. Okay. Okay. After, after that, we have a headache. And the tonsillal enlargement also common. So 25 years old man, I just share again, sorry. So you can continue with us, yes. no problem. Okay. 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 So okay. this is, yes. I can participate if you... Um, okay, can. Who is with me? Yeah, Dr. Nabhan. Dr. Nabhan, you are welcome. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Dr. We have a lot of scenarios, don't worry. 25 years old, the man suddenly have a severe headache and the coma 10 days ago, and now he's improved by treatment, so you can speak to him. Okay, <laughs> all right, you can start. Uh, good evening. Yes. My name is Dr. Muhammad Nabhan, I'm one of the surgical doctors. Yes. Uh, so, uh, what's the name of the patient? Uh, yes, I am uh, Muhammad. Okay. All right. Good evening, good evening, Dr. Muhammad. Uh, yes. So, uh, may I call you Muhammad? Yes, can. Uh, okay, can I just take some notes while we are speaking? All right, can. Uh, okay, can you tell me how did this pain started? Uh, usually, it is 10, I have a bad time because I was in coma. So I found severe pain in the my back, in the my back of the my head of sudden onset. Uh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, so it's the sun. Can you tell me, uh, is it exactly in the back of your head or is it just shifted yes, to the it right? Yes, it is uh, in, the, in the back of my head. Okay, can you tell me what's the character of pain? Is it uh, like... Uh, uh, it, is, it is very severe pain. Uh, okay, how can you read the pain out of 10? Uh, maybe seven. After that, uh, I went to coma, so I don't remember anything. Uh, okay. Can you tell me does this pain radiate to any other place? Like no. It to, uh, okay. No. Uh, is there anything that uh, you notice that increase or decrease the pain? Uh, no. Uh, okay. So uh, you told me that the pain started suddenly, right? Yes. Did you have any trauma to your head? No. Okay, uh, after the pain, you told me that you were in coma. So after you yes. wake up, is there any uh, next stiffness that you feel about? Uh, no. Uh, okay, is there any uh, problem with the lights? Uh, uh, little, little problem. Uh, okay, so uh, if there is a, a good source of light, so you'll feel pain at your eyes? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, did you have any fever after that? No. Uh, any skin rash? No. Okay. Do you what, why you ask about the skin rash? Okay, you know, it's uh, sometimes raised with meningitis, fever and skin rashes. Okay, so you expected that to bring the meningitis in surgical world? Uh, for in sure surgical not. exam. Okay, for so sure you not. get it. Okay, what ah, is okay. Uh, right. Did you know okay. Okay, did you have any uh, seizures? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Uh, did you have any uh, vomit after the uh, after you wake up? Uh, it is okay once. Uh, okay. So, uh, do you have any medical history? Like, do you have uh, diabetes or hypertension? No. Uh, okay. Uh, any other, uh, any uh, one of your family had the same attack? No. Uh, what's your diagnosis, doctor? I think this is a aortic aneur uh, uh, cerebral aneurysm. Uh, 
you mean that evmal formation or to, so what is the diagnosis it is like yes. it is extradural sub dural sub arachnoid sub it's sub arachnoid hemorrhage sub arachnoid hemorrhage so it is sub arachnoid hemorrhage this is the diagnosis okay so i have six uh, ct for example ct skull to show that what is usually the cause why this have sub arachnoid hemorrhage and he is 22 25 years old uh, usually there is an aneurysm and the aneurysm will uh, just what is the name of um, uh, aneurysm uh, it's uh, uh, middle cerebral artery aneurysm middle cerebral artery can be can be peri aneurysm which is common can also no problem okay so suppose you make a routine investigation in uk and found the patient have peri aneurysm and they have no uh, complaint have no uh, complaint okay. at all so what you will do to him in in england not in new york country uh, so it's it appears in routine investigation or in the er we make a routine investigation by mri or ct we found the peri aneurysm which can cause subarachnoid hemorrhage but uh, so what you will do i will call the uh, neurosurgery yes, so what is the neurosurgery do I, i honestly don't know i might the might put a stent anyone have an idea <laughs> yeah what is this is what we call it embolization or coiling the coiling coiling they put something called the coil coil like some uh, metal or some foreign material or some inert uh, area they just uh, to close the feeding vessels it is like if you have hemangioma of the liver preoperative you can make embolization of it just to decrease the blood supply so the same if discover accidentally very aneurysm in young uh, person in routine investigation you can do embolization okay okay all right i found uh, uh, so it is important uh, to, to know to know that just a quick uh, history for you another scenario suppose the patient have uh, scissors like convulsion or headache so what you need to ask him about uh, okay i'll we'll just ask him about the oral and about the sensory and motors and okay, about the okay what so investigation will, will be do i will do a ct brain ct brain okay so ct brain usually can show this tumor or some tumor is this is tumor is benign or malignant you see in the screen this is a malignant tumor as it shifts the brain to uh, the other no uh, shift any tumor can shift to the brain it is a smooth surface or regular surface It's smooth surface. It's smooth surface cancer. usually benign lesion. Okay. okay. But uh, of course, uh, how to treat this uh, tumor before surgery? What you need to do? Yeah, I will give medications that lowers the uh, intra-clinical like pressure. Like what? Like what? Manitol? Yeah. You can give manitol, magnesium sulfate, you give a steroid, all this. Okay. If you need to take a biopsy from this tumor, how to take it? Uh, I don't know honestly. Uh, the stereotactic, you know mm-hmm. that we have something now called the stereotactic biopsy or stereotactic like three dimension biopsy, the stereotactic guided biopsy. It is available in some hospital in Egypt and uh, Mahad Nasser. Okay. okay. Uh, next scenario which is a common also is a tonsillal enlargement and usually the student fail on it is this station. Okay. uh i i say it is not not common but because this exam is including ENT surgeon so you can continue to ask nabhan after that we see the others because this is just a quick 65 years old man chronic smoker presented with two months history of enlarged left tonsil loss of weight difficulty in swallowing cough with sputa no fever no night sweating so you need to take a history and the film that will be on ممثلين معروفين وليهم دور كبروا في السن ذا بيشنت بغض النظر عن مستر محمد اي ام 65 اوكي هلو مستر محمد يس هلو ماني دكتور محمد نبان ومن ذا سيرجيكال دكتور توداي اف ان اسك تو تيك هيستوري فروم يو ار يو اوكي تو كول يو مستر محمد يس كان اوكي مي اي جاست تيك سم نوتس وي وي ار سبيكينج اوكي Okay, can you tell me uh, when did this swelling started? Okay, uh, why you you tell uh, you take a note during the speaking? 
because uh, so I can just uh, recap the positives after we finish. No, no. Why you tell the patient that you support yeah, it's, it? It's like uh, permission from the patient to write. If they might, you know, feel okay. uncomfortable. No okay. It's usually you do that in your practice or? Uh... Uh, we usually here, we don't ask the patient to take. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Write it. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, can you tell me when this uh, swelling started? Yeah, it is just uh, uh, one month ago. I have a severe uh, left uh, swelling in my uh, throat and also another swelling in the, uh, the doctor tell uh, uh, it is a lymph node. Uh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. So uh, mm -hmm. can you tell me what's the exact site of the swelling? It, uh, the doctor tell me it is in the left tonsil. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, can you tell me uh, what's uh, is it associated with pain? Uh, just the heaviness, no pain. Uh, okay. So, uh, is there anything that you notice that the swelling will increase or decrease it? Uh, no, nothing. It's uh, just okay. rapid increasing, but uh, I'm waiting for an operation. Okay. Uh, which operation did the doctor uh, no, the, do uh, uh, the doctor tell, uh, discuss with this with you. Uh, okay. So, uh, did you notice any decrease in your uh, appetite? Uh, no, but I lost a weight. I lost about 5 kilo in the last month. Uh, okay. Uh, so, did you notice any change in your voice? Uh, no change in my voice, but I have difficulty to swallow. Uh, okay. So, to the solids or to the uh, fluids? Uh, or no, to, the to the solid. Uh, okay. Did you notice any, uh, you know, uh, night fever or sw uh, swearing? Uh, no night fever, no sweating. Uh, okay. Do you have any uh, chest problems? Uh, no, but uh, because I sometimes I swallow something from this uh, inflammation, so I have some cough and irritation. Uh, okay. Do you notice any abdominal swelling? No, like I don't have swelling, but I have swelling in the my uh, in the lymph node in the my neck. Uh, okay, on the both side or in one side? Uh, both side, uh, but okay. maybe in the left side. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, can you tell me? Do you smoke? Uh, yes, I smoke. I'm a chronic smoker. I smoke about uh, twenty cigarettes per day for the last twenty years. Uh, okay. Do you drink alcohol? Uh, yes, I drink alcohol, especially in the weekend. Okay, do you have any uh, allergy from medication or food? I, I'm allergic to seafood. Okay, do you take any special medication? Uh, what do you mean special medication? I like special medication for a, a chronic disease if you have diabetes or hypertension. Uh, no diabetes, no hypertension, no dyslipidemia. Uh, okay, so uh, do you have any uh, uh, heart problems like you uh, wake no, up at night? Okay, so apart from other is normal, what's your diagnosis? So my diagnosis will be uh, uh, non-hodgic lymphoma. Okay, it can be non-hodgic lymphoma. Okay, what else? Uh, it's not likely to be tonsillitis as... Uh, as a as normal. Normal. What else? Yeah, uh, it might be squamous cell carcinoma. Okay, what else? Uh, uh, this is patient is old, so it's not on slightest. So yeah. you mentioned lymphoma. What else? I think lymphoma, squamous cell carcinoma. It might be so TB. Lymphoma, but squamous cell carcinoma. So it's better because uh, involuntary, if you tell me it's lymphoma, I ask you because it is a funny how to know it is a lymphoma. It is difficult to know it is lymphoma from a history. So, but in general, it is looked like a cancer. Uh, yes, it's a cancer. Yeah. So it is a carcinoma or tonsillar cancer. Okay. okay. Uh, not okay. lymphoma, because lymphoma is generalized lymphadenopathy and they have splenomegaly. So it is okay. not a lymphoma. It uh, can oh. be infection mononucleosis. Although oh, okay. infection mononucleosis can, because infection mononucleosis can cause tonsillitis and the lymph node, and, but it is usually have a fever, have tinge of jaundice. Okay. okay. Uh, what is the problem in this station is usually the student tell everything except the cancer because it is not in some country like in Egypt is not common to have a cancer. Uh, okay. But but it is a malignant tonsil simply because it is unilateral because the patient is old age 
the patient is have chronic smoker, so it is just tonsillal cancer. This scenario is a tonsillal cancer. Although okay. it is not common, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, don't be shy for that. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I just have a history taken of impotence. So anyone apart from you, because this is common, and usually no one answer it in the exam. Uh, this is uh, usually because you have background of the some scenario, so you are concerted in the scenario. So we just have 10 minutes, so we speak about impotence. Impotence is erectile dysfunction. Oh, yes, it's, uh, it's one of the yeah. most, okay. most uneasy things. Okay. I have this yeah. in the exam, I can... Uh... Okay, so uh, I just uh, make it at the end, just uh, speak to me and we can, you can find your mistake. Uh, Muhammad Shal, you can ask me. You can start. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I am. I am Mr. Muhammad. I'm 55 years old. I work as a teacher. Now I I employed and have unable to get erection for six months. Okay. I uh, hello to meet you, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, I want hello. to ask you some more questions regarding this. Is it okay for okay. you? Okay. Okay. So, some of these questions, it will be personal. Uh, are you here? No problem. Go on. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, any? Uh, do you have uh, morning erection? Yes, uh, sometimes, not usual. I still have some morning erection. Thank you, God. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, any pain with erection? I have normal design, but no pain with erection. Okay. Do you, so you have uh, benign curvature? Uh, say again. Benile curvature, the normal benile curvature, or uh, no, it is normal. It is nothing abnormal. It's uh, normal. Uh, okay. Uh, when you, when there is a erection, is this suitable for penetration or not? Uh, now it's not suitable. In the past, it's suitable. I don't know what happened. Uh, okay. Uh, I could you tell me uh, uh, and uh, when this started exactly? Uh, it is just uh, maybe six months ago because I uh, fired from my job, so I am not working. I was teacher, uh, I teach uh, grammar, but uh, during this period, I found that I have erectile dysfunction. Okay, I'm very sorry for this uh, problem in your work, and uh, okay. uh, and this uh, is increasing or decreasing this uh, from what six months. From six months no, it is uh, it is not good because sometimes I can. Any, okay, uh, okay. Sometimes I unable. Okay. I'm worried about that. Okay, we will see and uh, the cause of it, and uh, I hope uh, we help you with the appropriate okay. treatment. Okay, and uh, is anything that make, make the condition good? No, I don't know. I just uh, try send the send the feel what we call it Viagra, so it is improved. But after that, it's not improved. Uh, okay, and uh, regarding, uh, we will continue with the other question I was asking to you. Uh, do you mind if you tell me? Do you have? Do you get uh, orgasm? Uh, yes, I have a desire, normal desire. Yes. Okay. Do do you, do you ejaculate? Yes. Do you have uh, premature ejaculation? Uh, no. Uh, okay. I need uh, to ask you uh, some uh, more questions. Uh, <coughs> uh, are you uh, sexually active, Mr. Muhammad? Yes, yes. Do you have a stable partner? Yes. And uh, do you practice uh, safe sex as using condoms? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, no, because my wife has an intrauterine device, so I don't use condom. Uh, okay. Uh, <coughs> do, you do you notice any change in your mood recently? Uh, no, but I am uh, in bad mood because of this erectile dysfunction. I uh, don't worry about my uh, employment because I have still have some money in the bank. Okay, that's good. And uh, do you have any problem with your partner? No, no, she's okay. She helped me much and she's work also. Okay, that's good. And uh, uh, regarding, uh, did you notice any change in your appetite recently or change in your belt? No. Okay. Do you have any uh, medical condition like di uh, diabetes? Or ah, I have hypertension. I have hypertension, but no diabetes. Because every doctor I go to him, he ask about diabetes and they make all investigation about diabetes because diabetes can cause this problem. But I am not diabetic. Okay. What? what but I have take, hypertension. You take you take medication I, for hypertension? Yes, I take uh, something called the Concor. Ah. Okay. And uh, uh, do you have any problem with your heart? Uh, uh, what you mean by problem in heart? Uh, by the way, uh, uh, 
uh, this medication is name the chemical name is atinilol okay okay uh, no no nothing in my heart okay any thyroid problem uh, no thyroid problem okay we finish you speak a lot uh, what's your diagnosis what is the cause the cause is uh, maybe a cell function due to psychological problem no what else Maybe also from medically as a side effect of atinolol may cause... Uh, All right. So this is the side effect of atinolol, not anything else. In exam, you pick this point or not? Yes, I picked this point. So if you pick it, you pass it. Okay, so this patient is not... We don't interested in sexual function of the patient. We don't interested to ask sexual history. We just need to know that if the patient take beta blocker like co Uh, concord like atinolol so he can have erectile dysfunction so you stop it and give him what what you give to the patient and maybe another as this inhibitor or uh... you can give him ac inhibitor like uh, coversil or br yes. brondobil so this is all the trick if you see the whole scenario have nothing except the patient take atinolol and this atinolol is can cause erectile dysfunction all right Of course, you ask about the other part of the history and nothing to be done. So this is impotence, drug in the use, and maybe psychological, but it is drug in the use. Okay? okay. So uh, I just ask because two of you have the same station. Uh, Nabhan, so you explain to the examiner that this patient have erectile dysfunction because of the beta blocker or what? Uh, I didn't have the same uh, station. Yeah, say again? I didn't have the same station. Okay, uh, so who have the same uh, station? Uh, it is who have the same station, uh, Shell and the Corollos. Uh, uh, no, I have. Uh, I, I was in the day of uh, Dr. Muhammad. It was pre-op uh, assessment and uh, pseudo. Uh, and pseudo aneurysm. What is pseudo aneurysm? What do you mean? Uh, femoral, femoral uh, pseudo aneurysm. Drug, drug abuser who has uh, femoral aneurysm. Drug abuser, yes, yes, drugs. You have femoral artery aneurysm due to intravenous drug. Okay, yes, all right. So, Dr. Shan, you have the same scenario. Okay, you have no, yes. you have to say this scenario. So, what is the yes. problem in that station? I, I don't have any problem with the station. I, I, I think, uh, is the is Mr. Muhammad was the, the role player for this or, or what? I, I, what do you mean by role player? Like what do you mean by role player? I think the I, I think the the mean the lay examiner. The, In this station, you are examining by an examiner who is a vascular surgeon ah, yes, and yes. a lay examiner. This is not a doctor, but it will okay, assess yes. how you are speaking to uh, the patient if you are keen to keep the confidentiality, if you have a small tone. What is the distance between you? I, re I remember one of the candidates in this station, he brought his chair very, very near to the actor. And this prevented him from passing this station. So you must know what is the social distance. If you are asking, you are asking him in a nice, polite way. So this is called lay examiner. And lay examiner, we have, I think, six or seven from the British Council. They come every exam with us as a lay examiner and they give points and the surgeon give point and we together must agree on single point, either pass with a certain grade. If we don't agree, then they give priority to the surgeon. So if I think the lay examiner was a bit unfair or a bit tough, I can tell him, no, I think this one uh, should pass and I will give him this grade. So this is, imp this is, I think, your question, uh, Dr. Nabhan, or Dr. Ishaya. Uh, so he, he asked about the response of lay examiner, or you ask about what? I, I was asking about if Dr. Muhammad was, was the examiner of this station, I think. I, I, yes, I made yes, it. yes. In the last time, maybe, maybe you, when you came to this station, I was the examiner, and yes, there was I, I a lay examiner the, with me. The, yes. Okay. Yes. I, I, I just, uh, I just uh, show you just yeah. some pictures. You know, Professor Shireen, Professor Shireen, the candidate remember us very well. We don't remember them sometimes, but oh, they right. remember okay. us. Okay. I understand. Yeah. You can see it is important in communication to have eye-to-eye -eye contact. And it is important you become straight back, so no leaning forward. Excellent. Okay. So all this, uh, we is just repeat. 
sorry, sorry. If, if, if there is any something uh, to show embassy with, uh, I can lean forward to uh, make him more. Uh, uh, doctor, I tell you, I examine a student. I am examiner for more than now 17 years. I am the I, oldest I, I, examiner I asking, in the Royal College. Sorry, I just but, asking. Uh, how, how what you do in exam is something very strange. Okay. Uh, you, you, you make uh, the um, uh, Egyptian doctors make like he make a movie. Okay. Uh, you know, you are putting in the competition with the people from Malaysia, with the people from Middle East, with the people of Saudi Arabia. In comparison with them, your score is very down, especially in these topics, because you make like simulated, like uh, what's called actor, like acting, like in movie. You know that this is like Omar Sharif or, or famous movies that most of the Egyptian candidates make. Like uh, when I ask you, you make four sorry, five sorry, and all this. You need to be normal in normal yes. situation. I, I will try in okay. the in the courses that you are doing, Professor Shireen okay. in September, I will mention the point that lay examiner give you mark on. They give you mark on if you speak softly. If you ha if you uh, protect your so social distance with the uh, with the actor, your body language. If you are writing the paper, if you have empathy, these are the points that give you a mark on it. It needs training in the Middle East. We this station we don't do it much in practice, and we don't respect the lay examiner rules, and that's why you fail a lot. It's not just to uh, get the right diagnosis, but you have to be a performer, a good performer, and a professional performer to convince me that you are a professional doctor, can deal with difficult um, difficult situation in a proper way. And, and that's why this station is one of the difficult ones. Yeah, it's usually most of the Egyptian candidate failed by the examiner, and sometimes I give one girl full mark in my bay, in my my bar out of 10, and uh, the examiner gave her zero, because her attitude is very strange. Some female, especially, also can yeah. be some aggressive, some not care. Uh, yeah, but the Royal College also, rule, if you disagree, you the surgeon, <laughs> the surgeon opinion yeah. overrides the lay examiner. So uh, okay. you have to be assured we are on your side. All right. uh, we continue next time. I think uh, today is uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. So Saturday also continue on history taking. And again, don't put in your mind something. This station is pre-operative assessment. This station is for anxiety because...